Hello everybody, welcome to the second round of Blitz Pit 11. The first round, very sadly for Volk, his computer wasn't working and he couldn't get it working in time to play the game, the first round against me, so I got an admin win in the first round. Um, so in the winner's bracket now against Diomlord, who has just won in overtime? First, yes. No, in normal time, in no, he, he just won in normal, no, time, normal time. Normal time. Uh, against Call Troops Chaos, he has got five guard and two mighty blows um it's orcs like it's a pretty good package for orcs like it, it's actually a good build um as well as lots of skills whereas the the necro get lots of skills and get lots of money so like it seems a good format for necro but the necro is problem like we've had a uh, there's there's been seven orc teams and every pretty much every orc team has had the same players in it the uh the necro are a bit different because a lot of people have gone two rerolls and 13 players and uh, sh extra shield hands on the duel and stuff like there's it's a bit dodgy for the money uh, making your team and stuff for necro but obviously them getting 13 20 and uh and getting the doubles and stuff is nice for them uh but yeah four guard two claw mighties obviously i've got to get lucky with these claw mighties against the orcs because they've got loads of guard and loads of mighty blows so it's very scary um so there you go i'm gonna try hard in the booth is Fimir and Calcium to entertain you chaps, the two of the best commentators that I've ever seen in my life. Um, choose. Yes, hello everybody, <laughs> here we are, the Blitz Pits, after the quickest victory because Volcayo's PC decided to die, unfortunately. Now here you go against Orcs. And it's gonna come all about the mighty blow claw of the wolves, I think. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is gonna be the classic Claw Mighty versus Control, isn't it? The Orcs are yep. going to look to shut those wolves down. Uh, Jim's going to look to exploit gaps to try not to frenzy trap the nuts off of himself. Um, so, yeah, you're spot on. And here is no win, so I'll go for defense. I don't hate playing defense here. No, no. Um, I, in fact, I prefer playing defense. I mean, there's, yeah. there's, there's no, you don't have sure hands. Um, it's much more difficult to score. You need to push things or uh, go for a break. And Jim has a lot of movement in the yeah. walls. I was about to say, Faymir, um what does the Blizzard favor? Who, do who does the Blizzard favor here? It must favor the Necros with the speed of the wolves yes. and the whites, mustn't it? Yes, it uh, works against. Uh, it works better because. Jimmy doesn't have to worry to pick up the ball, doesn't have to worry to make GM5 mm. to try to score. He can just be very conservative, throw some thumbs to the Black Orcs, and beat his time. Yeah. Question is, how many 3 plus dodges will do Jim with the Wolves after they fail it, friends? Yeah. Because the Wolves are very good, but there is a lot of guard in the Orc team, you know? There is going to be a lot of frenzy traps. You would expect the Umlord to not give Jim much in the way of exposed players, you know, um, whereas a lesser coach will leave a lot of exposed players, give the Wolves free hits. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All I talk about the Blizzard. <laughs> All right, OK, that's a risk that you take, you know. I think Dion will be breathing a bit of a sigh of relief that the weather's decided to uh, the, the ball, the ball is very close to Mr. Throw. Yeah, it was a nice kickoff. So all that Jim's hoping for here is that his zombie armor holds up, so he can keep orcs locked. Yes, and also the orcs. The only thing they can do is uh, blitz a zombie. Yeah, so it's going to be. There's going to be. Uh, a flat advance from the Orcs, um, you know, I, I would be very surprised if the Omlord leaves a player exposed. Yeah. So, Faymir, will Jim go rowdy like we saw from Caltroop last game? Um, lots of dodges, lots of high risk nonsense. Jimmy going rowdy now. No, it's, it's, not, it's not his style. He's more cerebral and planning and planning and yeah. thinking the long game. Jimmy always thinking two turns ahead. That's why he disperses because he can see the game in three turns. Mm -hmm. And then you can see sometimes like, oh, this is done because he has seen it. Yeah.
What's happening here? Huh? Well, one zombie disappeared from the pitch. Yeah, pretty solid first turn from the Om Lord there. Removal. So he's in pretty good shape. Now Jimmy can make the banger bus here. He moves the zombie. Just for the lols. Nine squares, nine players. Oh, Jim's going. Jim's going for the black orc here. Going for the black orc with. Uh, oh no! No, he isn't. He's going for the blitzer here. He's going for the blitzer. No. Ah. Uh, okay. Chain, chain play. Oh, there you go. There you go. Proper, proper necro play. Black orc dead. Let's hope so. No, that's it. Concede. GG. Yeah. Good luck. You know, time to go. Maybe the next game. <laughs> yeah. Who, who I have in the losses bracket. Yeah. And now that Wolf is 100% uh, getting blitz. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this Werewolf may be having a bad day in a moment. Um, it looks like Jim has locked up both Mighty Blow Orcs. Uh, no, he's unlocked a Mighty Blow Orc there. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's okay, because he could unlock it just with a Black Orc. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, you're right. Yes, or so, the yeah. so, yeah, it's... But a Mighty Blow hit on a Werewolf is now an option, isn't it? Yes. Now you can just move the Troll. Or the guard, the black orc, one, one, two, three, four, and then blitz. Happy days. Jim needs to get his skates on. He's burnt half his minute here. Wait. I'm sorry, I'm DM Lord. Sorry, he's burnt half his minute. Okay, Wait, so that's, Lord. that's going that's for discipline. the zombie. Yeah, that's discipline. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure now he wish he, he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's kicking himself right now, isn't he? That's what you get for not taking a mighty blow werewolf hit when you got the opportunity. Re to be fair, regen worked. So, yes, and um, you know, it wouldn't have been a catastrophe. Positional, this is better because now uh, the Om Lord is in one control of one side. Yeah. Jimmy has a lot of players tied there, but there is a wolf there which moves eight. I have no fear. So I don't know if I'm a fan of Dion Lord exposing any orcs here. He's obviously exposed that lino. That's that's blitz bait, that lino, isn't it? But yes. if Jimmy's claw mighty starts to work, then you start shaving this team number, you know? Really stupid again. Oh, unlucky. 100% really stupid. We love to see it. Oh, eat, eat, it. Eat, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, get the spoon, get the spoon oh. and eat it, oh my god. Oh, that was a last second decision. Well, truly, I want a last second decision, but I don't like it at all. I hate that reroll. Why Why would you want to reroll that? Hate it. Flesh Golem, doing what they're designed to do. Yep. And now the zombie has a 2D on the Orc Blitzer and can change the... Yeah, he can. <laughs> Seen a lot of people there. Yeah. Oh, have to... That's it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's harsh. Push the troll away. Oh, no, why would you push the troll there? Oh, it was a pushback on it, so it doesn't matter. You couldn't... Um, yeah, yeah, you could, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now Jimmy can reposition a lot of his players. Comfy.
do need to remove all here just to make himself feel a bit better about things. I stand okay. and be happy about it. Yeah. Could be worse. Jesus, what a mess. What you do there? Right now, so Dion Lord's the one under pressure here because he's basically got a movement 6, 5 and 4 player versus movement 8, 8 and 6. Yes, no, no, that's, that's the thing, you know, for, uh, I was meaning about a blob, you know, uh, who to par, who to chain. Um, but yeah, now uh, Dion Lord is, uh, the problem is that the free wolf that can be hit at all. He's got to run back and hit Dion Lord. He's got to, he's got to re-centralize. I think yes. he's got to run back. Yeah. Yes, because four players over uh, Jim are holding the whole team of uh, Dion there. Hey, so Dion Lord will be feeling good about that stun. Looks like a pretty good recovery turn, doesn't it? Recover position. It's all right, but the uh, needs to be very careful because there is a wolf there next yeah. to the white with the guard. Oh, another so removal. I mean, Jim's three men down on this drive, um, albeit three zombies. The ten by. Uh, the average team value of his players increasing by every turn. <laughs> oh, a zombie that survives a block. So if I was Jim right now, I'd be thinking, right, this drive is probably over. Let's see if we can chip a Black Orc or two. Yes. Yes, I mean, you blitz that the uh, Black Orc there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, the prone, if you're lucky enough to get him down next to that prone zombie, there's your foul. There you go. Oh, there you go. KO. No foul required. And you can move back the wolf. We're the path in front of CNI there. Uh, trigger Happy Bunny, this is literally the only thing I think that is keeping a lot of us playing Blood Bowl, let alone Jim. Uh, minute format competitions like Blitz Pit, like Jim's very own BBSL. Uh, it's literally one of the only things that's keeping me playing Blood Bowl, that's for bloody sure. There you go now. And now uh, Jim repositions his players and has a nice front. He's Let's remember. Good, yeah, he's doing a good job with a lack of players here, isn't he? Yes, he is okay if the orcs don't score. That's you know that's a huge uh, win. <clears throat> yeah. And he needs to keep protecting the ball every single time. That's a player that he can use to follow the stuff. And look at that. So, troll, troll locking both those whites. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, smart play. Yeah, Jim isn't stopping this drive here, um, but it would be really nice. He's got another five turns to try and remove an orc or two. Yes, he can just say uh, one of the tactics. He can say that, OK, you want to score? Give all your players there. I'm going to target this, uh, the, the, the players you have uh, left yeah. alone. Yeah. There is a 
Capele Blancorx, that could be targeted easy. So it will be interesting to see who Jim goes for. So this Black Orc on the uh, the top left, so he's exposed. Um, I, I would quite like trying to hit him because you, you're not. Um, or the Black Orc on the bottom right. Yeah. Um, but I think the one top left is probably an easier target. And he doesn't have block. That's who I'd go for. And he can do uh, just get up the golem and he's uh, two dice into two dice. Yeah, absolutely. That That's absolutely the one I'd go for. And you even have the movement left with the wolf to reposition back. Yeah, yeah. But it looks like it looks like Jim's gonna be rowdy. Okay, Jim's going the rowdy way. Two dice into one dice. Ooh. Yeah, perfect oh. move down. Perfect move down. Oh, do you do you try and manufacture a one D on the troll here? Um, it means putting a werewolf in harm's way, doesn't it? I think he's going to go for the red dice at the end of the tunnel with one of the yeah ones. yeah. No, there we go. One day, one day, one day with a white, perfectly fine. Eight but seconds, I, Jim. Eight seconds, you're running out of time. <laughs> oh, doing the dodge. See, the dodge is 70%, uh, the same chances you have on a uh, red dice. The difference is with the red dice, yes, you rush in the trouble of a. Uh, Losing the player because the troll kills him. There was an uh, argument for keeping the white on the troll there to stop the troll doing exactly what he's just done. He wasn't the troll, he wasn't to be somewhere else. Someone else. But well, yeah. So one thing's for certain, that werewolf next to the troll is going to get mighty blow spanked right now. Yes. But that's the risk. And also it's a wolf, he has a... Yeah. Regen. Happy day. What's he going to do with the ball? I was going to say that Mr. Froze only movement five. <laughs> He's not that fast. I know uh, that uh, these, remo these removals have been harsh, haven't they? They've been harsh. <laughs> Dear fight with Mr. Throw. Oh, he has to reroll. <laughs> because if not, there was the. The golems could do funny stuff. No, no, wait. He didn't He didn't need to reroll that. No, he didn't need to reroll that at all. Uh, again, no, another no, no, questionable yeah. reroll there. There you go, kill, kill that blitzer. Good. Okay. okay. KO will do. <clears throat> Ball oh. is based. So that's it, guys. Yeah. Thanks for GG. watching. GG. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs> Yes, that dodge the sorcery roll. And out of nowhere, he must put a lot of pressure here on the orcs. Considering the circumstances, I mean, the orcs are still in a very yeah. nice place. 
absolutely and this is so the umlords making some questionable choices here you know the fact that jim is still in this drive um you know two men down against a higher strength opponent you know yeah fair play to him i mean freeing the ball is easy yeah it is yeah that's still a blitz that you must do yeah Okay, I think now we're gonna watch a proper cage. Wait, I think he has discovered. No, I, one thing. yeah, I, I think he what? has uh, discovered one thing. The wolves are too fast. I, I don't think I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, unorthodox. Oh, baby. Five seconds. He's thinking he's uh, counting the scores of the wars. Time. And now what? See that the uh, okay that the uh, makes it more difficult for the wolves to you know go the down way, but the wolves are going to go the highway. I mean he has two D with a golem on the guard blitzer. On oh, ref, just cool time on this turn already. Holy shit! The last seconds of the blitz speed is like in the movies when they're trying to deactivate the bomb and have only 10 last seconds, the last uh, five minutes. He has 1D on the ball without much trouble. Yes, exactly. He's counting the squares. Yeah, yeah. Um, surely he has to base. He has to base that lino. Yes. Lino. Base the lino. Yes, with that wolf. The wolf. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. I think he's got the squares. I think he's got a five plus in, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a five plus in. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy. This is Blitz I have ever seen. So Dion Lord will probably feel a bit hard done by, by that hard 5 plus. But he, he shouldn't do, because he he's played pretty the, crap. He, yes, he uh, made a mistake when he was uh, trying to build the cage. Yeah. Uh, do you know what? Again, Dion Lord's a great player, but... And the minute turns will make. I think when, when, when sword, you, but... you guys were saying that he's a very good enough style coach, double top. I think it's probably he's used to play more uh, games with more time. Yeah, four and a half hours per turn. You know, fucking naff. But um, yeah, minute turns will will do this to the best of coaches, won't it? Yeah, everybody runs out of time at some point. Yeah. Unless you are dice every single time, running the double scarf and things like that, and that's it. You know, 50 seconds, uh, 10 seconds times. Uh. That being said, the fact that Jim was able to 1D the ball carrier in that manner is entirely down to Dion's... He was a 5 plus with the roll, so he was a 50%. Yeah. That's a, that's a very high percent there. Are... Yeah. I'm a big fan of that uh, kind of place. You know, sometimes you have to say, you know, this is my chance, I'm going to take it. Yeah, and Jim Jim was two players down, you know, so he had to be rowdy at that point. Yes, and now we're getting a push, doesn't make it much. Mr. Throw, movement three, movement five. A one in nine there will be brutal. Where does he Where does he put him? He make, makes an eye cage, doesn't he? Yes, he needs to put a, him. A, that's not the square. Okay.
really not safe, is it? <laughs> no, no. Uh, oh, that that pal lucky helps. Pal. Lucky yeah, that, pal. that pal helps, but he's still not safe. Can't risk, um, can't risk a activating the troll. No, no, no. So what are you gonna do with the troll? Maybe yes, maybe, maybe move one square to the left. Yeah, doesn't want to unlock one of those werewolves. Looks like Jim's white at the bottom is going to be doing some work here. Three plus for one dice uh, at the ball with a uh, versus a player with no. So what you no want to block. do here? Do you, you really want to risk punching the ball to the right? So um, do you punch it to the right and look for a favourable scatter? I'll go for the left. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why I can see why you'd go for the left, but I think Jim's going to the right. Yeah, the works, scatter. works are uh, better that way. Okay, that's not the scatter that Jim was looking for. <laughs> no, that's not a great scatter, but he can get he could with a little bit of luck here, he can get tackle zones on the ball, can't he? Just rolling three pluses. <laughs> Just rolling three pluses. Oh, these pals, these pals are nice right now. Very nice uh, armor break there, makes things much easier for the next turn. For uh, Jim, Dio has uh, only one turn. Oh, 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 oh. That is beautiful. A big, a big dodge beautiful. there. Yeah, big dodge. Also, he faced that dodge. It's like, okay, you know, it's like uh, that black orc was going to be useless anyway. Jim's been on the back foot from the very start of this half. Yeah, well, and, a hell of a fight played, here. and he's played a really solid half of Blood Bowl here. Well, I think that the, the advantage of playing defense, you know, you don't need to invest players on a protecting the ball or anything, so losing players while you're in defense, like, okay, but your opponent also has to invest players. So it's not 11 versus 11, it's uh, you're starting you know, 11 versus 8, because your opponent needs to keep players protecting the ball. So that gives you a lot of space to try to do stuff. Yeah. That's it, that's Dion thinking, oh my god, I need to do this... Uh, well, Dion's got a problem, isn't he? Because he can't stand up Mr. Fro to activate the troll. He had to do that. Jim, Jim's probably feeling a little bit hard done by right now. Wow. Oh, um. I was the play. So double GFI to score. Seems to be. That good enough. It's all a bit and desperate, here we go. Desperate. Well, he's uh, what he goes. Oh, oh so he snakes it. Mr. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. This yes, game, eh? He's going to have uh, all his team without any problem. Now, Jim is thinking the most uh, rowdiest way of doing this. Yeah. Which is a blitzing Mr. Uh, throw. And then he'll get. I know he's going to get. Oh my god. What? Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> so, Jim. Oh. Shit, dice for turn eight. But that won't, that won't bother Jim, will it? He's done yes. the job. He's done the job. I will have blitzed Mr. Throw and hit the blitzer. Oh, there you go. Instant apple. I mean, don't even think you see the apple. Yeah, all day. All day. It's like, um, uh, yeah, Frost Lord Army, absolutely. It was a deserved stop. Jim played a really solid half of Blood yes. Bowl there. Very good defense on the back foot. Players down. Um, yeah, and I, I hate to say it, but that was Dion Lord's fault that he didn't score there. He, he had a, a every mistakes. opportunity.
They made a couple mistakes in yeah. this format, leaving the door open. I mean, Jimmy has uh, relatively lucky getting a 50%. That was a tail uh, a coin toss to you know to hit the ball with the wall, but the chance was there because Dion did the, did the mistake and he realized the mistake. Yeah, and do you know what? Again, when you're on the back foot, you've got to take those 50% chances, haven't you? You've got to take them. Yes, all the orcs came back. And Jimmy had enough uh, yeah. bodies. I don't think the dice. I don't think the dice favoured one coach or the other particularly. There, I say, if anything, actually, Dion Lord probably had slightly better dice due to the removals. Um, but at least we got an honest game of Blood Bowl at the start yeah. of the second half, haven't we? You know, it's not been a comedy mega dice in one way or the other. We got an honest game of Blood Bowl. Well, Jimmy asked for an honest, decent games of Blood Bowl with no dice in. That's what he getting. <laughs> That's what he said. Everybody knows when you start playing the first turn, the first thing you think, come on, double skulls into double skulls for the opponent. Come on, this is it. Give me, give me, give me that dice in I deserve. Uh, yeah, Frostlord, I mean, I tend to agree with you. I um, Really bad sounds harsh, but, you know, I'm, yeah, I, 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 I didn't like the way. I didn't like their entire drive, to be honest. So, I think know. the Lord was trying to do two things at the same time, and that yeah. didn't work. That's so dangerous in a game of Blood Bowl, isn't it? When you... Yes, he was trying to cage and get hits, and he's like, no. <clears throat> and he didn't do that early doors, did he? He didn't go for the werewolf hit. Now, if he'd taken that werewolf hit and removed the werewolf, not for the game, but for the drive, it could have been entirely different. So I, I think... Back. That, that was the start of his problems, wasn't it? The fact that, you know, when, you, when you've when you got werewolf hits, you've got to take them, especially against claw mighty werewolves. I mean, he chose the position uh, advantage. But yeah. if you do that, you have to follow with it. You know, you can invest players in basing a uh, movement for players or the other team. You know, like, okay, Jimmy put there, you know, his wolf, his uh, golems and all that. It's like, okay, remain there. I'm going this other way. And I'll build a proper cage, a cage for the agent. Okay, so Jim's fallen for the, uh, <laughs> this could be a bit of a problem. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's, that's probably enough to protect that werewolf. Yeah, I think that's enough. I mean, uh, more or less. Again, it takes a lot of investment from the orc to blitz that wolf. Yeah. He needs to invest uh, an Jim extra looking, guard. Jim looking for the foul here? Yes. 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 Go on, Jim. Go. Come on, Jim. That was that actually quite. That, that, that was quite big. Massive. Yeah, because yeah. now the wolf is much more protected. Exactly. Me and you were both both on the same wavelength there. Um, that guard not being able to stand up protects that wolf. And now the orc has to invest three players to get a blitz in the wolf, a fifty percent blitz. Yeah. And all those players that he's getting there are gonna get hit the next turn. Yeah, troll blitz on the wolf would have been a thing. Um, I don't know if I would have gone for it, Frost Lord, but yeah, he's 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 set up he set up a two D with the um, mighty blow blitzer now, isn't he? So I think yes, it's gonna be the blitz with the mighty blow tackle and on the wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, he's investing, you know, a lot of players in a position that is you don't get much guaranteed, and you're gonna get hit back. Yeah, he's. Um, he probably won't dodge out, will he? He'll probably just stay put, but... Okay, now he's closing the door, yes. That's the right. What, oh, are, you doing? what are you doing there with that black orc? That black orc must <laughs> be something. Be something with one yeah. square. One yeah. square next to the zombie. Let's expose a random black orc to Claw Mighty. I don't mind if I do. Will pay off? No. So, splash one black orc. 
<laughs> they are Jim's Jim's like, oh hello Mr. Blackhawk, we meet again. Yeah, hated that from Dion Lord. If he'd gone one square back or up, then this Blackhawk wouldn't be exposed right now. Kill it. Oh never punish. Not punish. Never punish. Oh, nice. Oh, even nicer. Yeah, this is... Jim is... So, we all know Jim exceptionally well now. Um, Jim is legitimately one of the faster players in Blood Bowl. Um, and... Minute turns, if anyone can play a good game of Blood Bowl in minute turns, it's Jimmy Fantastic. Yeah. Guess that most of the top coaches, you know, that uh, have played so many millions of games that every game is already in the memory. Like chess players remembering yeah. games for yeah. having their genes now. <clears throat> Jim can. So you, you mentioned earlier about Jim Blaine playing two or three turns ahead, which he absolutely does, and a lot of the best Blood Bowl coaches do. But Jim also sees all his options very quickly, whereas the Mr. Pages and the Andy Davos of the world will take their time during a turn to, to analyse, and there's nothing wrong with the way they play, to analyse their options. Jim will very quickly cycle through his options. I don't know if putting Mr. Page and uh, Andy Dab on the same uh, sentence is uh, a favour to one or an insult to another, but I agree. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> I mean, Andy Dabo takes his time because he has to play, you know, the chance of hazard because he's a uh, player style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was he famous for and his chat, you know, the people that watch him and uh, subscribe to him, is like they, want, they like to watch that. And Mr. Page yeah. also, when he was playing Blue Ball, I don't know if he plays Blue Ball anymore, but it was also the same, you know, he has his his style and things like that. Winning titles is not as important as keeping your uh, audience entertained once your audience reaches a certain level. Yeah. But yeah, 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 here we go. And now, now that's the thing with the Wolves. The Wolves are a scoring threat more or less every single time. It's like uh, they can move wherever they want. Yeah, Jim's in a great position right now. Uh, the only thing that's going to ruin Jim's day is attrition. You know, um, Jim will quite happily sit sit on the LOS. You know, just eating up turns. Um, you know, waiting for the Orcs to make a mistake. And that's around it. turn fourteen, Jim then will, will then push. Those, uh, oh. So Those. there's an there's another mistake. Yes. He's exposed the Blitzer. Um, Jim will be smashing that Mighty Blow Blitzer all day here. He can put the zombie level with that Blitzer, or between. Actually, I really like putting it between the Blitzer and the Black. Jimmy, what are you doing? That's not. That's not the. Oh. He yes. saw the. He saw the fifty percent. And now you can see <laughs> the two. The two golems are holding four orcs. Yeah, yeah, doing exactly what golems are designed for. Oh dear, that's not great. Uh, it's all right. He can get into. Uh... Yeah. Done's nice. I, I I don't know if I'd dodge him. I'd play, I'd leave him put. Yeah, is it like a? Yeah, yeah. So Jim Jim's not gonna dodge him. It's all right. This is a second half, Jim. There is there is there is no tomorrow. You know that this is all that it is if you score. Doesn't matter if your wolves die. Why? So, okay, so Jim's really pushing hard early here. I don't know if I love this. Well, if you're going to K, you know, uh, why not go there? You know, remaining in the center. Well, well, yeah, but he's got bags of time, you know. Um, so what he's done there by setting up that cage is he, he's exposed a werewolf to a mighty blow hit. And I don't think... Um, I don't think you needed to expose both werewolves here. Oh, that was nice. 
certainly not in Belend territory yet, you know, far from Belend no, territory. No, I, I, I mean, if you're going to go to a side of that, the more squares you take from the opponent uh, pitch, the better. Less, yeah. you have to run later and more. Your opponent has to run later and now. They yeah. have one wolf that could score, the ghoul could score, the other wolf could also score too. You have half the orc team is controlled by two idiotic golems and a zombie. So yes, he's going to be able to hit the wolves. So what? Well, you say so what? <laughs> I mean, it won't be so what if both get removed in one turn. <laughs> yes, okay, but the chances of that are very low. Yeah, it, yeah. It has yeah. happened before and will happen again, but... Yeah. Also, there is a limit of the pressure that Jimmy can uh, hold from the orcs. They have just too much guard. There you go. Okay. I feel I feel like I was being slightly harsh on that last turn, um, but I, all I'm really doing is just trying to look at all the ramifications of the moves, you know. Um, yeah. No, but I like it the, what the Jim did there. I mean, yeah. if you would have done the, the same thing, but four squares behind, nothing would have changed. Okay, you choose block here. Choose the block. Don't push and follow. Reroll, Jesus. Reroll it. Jesus. Right. Oof. Those seconds of wait there was Dio uh, regretting the reroll. He could have chose block, <laughs> and that was it. No, the, the classic, you know, oh, yeah, God, yeah, yeah. I, did, I think yeah. I did a mistake. Now Jimmy with three rolls can afford to do all this stuff. Getting rowdy. See, if you will have choose the block, that black core will be a square behind and he needs to move yeah. another player. And now he's gonna free the a white. Oh, huge, oh, oh. huge, huge, yeah. but expected. It's a claw hit, you know, at some point they were bound to happen. Well, yeah, Jim's been pretty unlucky with the amount of claw hits that he's dished out. That He's only got a couple of removals from it. So that'll make Jim feel a lot better. Now Jim's wondering whether he can manufacture another 2D on that mighty blow blitzer. Um, it's rowdy. Yes, yes, it's easy. Yeah. Now the problem is what you do with the ball. All right. Okay. Open the back of chips. Okay, easy. It's, it felt potatoey, didn't it? It felt potatoey. It's, it's, it's a potato. <laughs> I mean, is the, the play along <laughs> turn twelve there? Uh, Frostlord, no. Obviously, you don't retreat there with the Black Orb removal. Maybe Jim should have retreated there with the Black Orb removal, but Jim obviously, you know... Okay, got never his... retreat, never surrender. Yeah, got his potato on. <laughs> We're not going to let Jim off of that, are we? You know what he's going to do at the end of it? He's going to go, no, nah, that one a potato. And then he's going to try and break it down why it wasn't a potato. But yeah, the main of, problem I see with the play is that I love it and usually that's bad news. Yeah, I don't think we should let Jim off of that. <laughs> but now, you know, uh, there is a lot of problems here. 
Well, the biggest problem Jim now has is the Omlord can force the score on turn 13. That's a lot of time for Orcs to win this 2-1. Or maybe not. Maybe he what? has go for a random blitz on the wolf. Yeah, why would you even okay, do that? Okay, yeah, there that's, we go, yeah. That's a yeah. sensible play. Yeah. I think he needs he needs to if he can get rid of this flesh golem and knock the flesh golem down. Um he, I I think yeah, why blitz why blitz there? Where all the other targets in my book, but that's what happened. Okay, so he's freed oh. up a black orc, so that black orc can run back there. Jim's gonna have to score here. I I don't think Jim needed to be in a position where he had to score turn thirteen. I'm like like Frost Lord said. I think he could Jim could have quite comfortably stalled this. Maybe he feels different, but. Why Blitz Pit's so good? Minute turns, baby. Yes. Now, will we see Mr. Throw being sharp? In an absolutely unnecessary and risky uh, play? Don't think Jim's got any options here, is he? I think uh, he has a score, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> the dance of your people and a score. Okay, so Glorious. the will Glorious will be, will be rolls thin. from Jim. Absolutely yeah. disaster. Yeah. Uh, Diamond Lord will be feeling not horrible about this, will he? He's got a chance. You know, um, yes. lest we forget, Jim is now 1-0 up. Um, you know, and Diamond Lord's got four turns to score with Orcs, which, uh, you know, against the near full strength Necro team is a bit of a tall order. Yes, but the, uh, those two zombies, eh, would have been uh, nice to have them back. Jimmy has three, five, ten players versus the... Alarox is all right. Again, yeah. he just needs to keep the ball, you know, away. Oh, the goblin is on the pitch. Dion Lord is going all in here. GG. <laughs> the goblin is on the pitch. <laughs> Drop the GG, Jim. Drop the GG. Goblin in the pitch. G -G. Yeah. Oh, that extra roll. It's a nice Use kick. Use a lot of breathing space for extra time. It's a nice kick. No Irish rounder. It's not a gimme at all. Um... I would have really liked Jim to score turn 14, not turn 13, but, you know, the the drive played out the way it did. So, Jim is legitimately one of the best defensive players in Blood Bowl. All right, here we go. Oh, Flesh Golem holding up two Blackhawks, amazing. Now, what I don't like for the Dion Lord here is that he doesn't have a blitzer behind to hand off now the ball. Is it me, Feme, or is he committing to the right-hand side while the ball is on the left? No, nah, I think it's still... Uh, that black orb with block is still more or less in the middle, so... But, yeah, so maybe a little too much of an investment. Oh, here comes the Goblin.
Pick up the ball. Single time, Mr. Throw goes for the ball. An angel gets his wings. All right. Now yeah. Jimmy has the easy task here. Just hit things. Hit one thing and wait what uh, and wait and see. Well, I would really like Jim to knock down one of these black orcs. No, um, blitzers. I'll go. I well, uh, it's, it's yeah, gonna to die. I, it's gonna to die the with the golem for sure. Yeah, I, I I agree. But the benefit of knocking down the black orcs is they can't support the blitzers when the blitzers have to push. Yes, but if you kill the blitzers, there are no blitzers. Blitzers yeah, are the newest yeah. kings. Yeah. Oh shit! I wouldn't have hated a reroll there. No, no, for God's sake, turn fourteen. Turn fourteen. This is, this three rerolls left. This could go to extra time. You want to keep as many rerolls as possible. Oh yeah, overtime. Oh well, you know, I'm just showing my chops as a blood bowl coach. <laughs> overtime, I don't play for rerolls in overtime. <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, that the uh, wolf there is all right. That's quite nice, isn't it? The, um, fishing, fishing the, the for cows didn't work. Yeah. Incredible. Never seen it ever happen before in my life. And now what happens is every single uh... oh well, unfortunate, but it's a regen. After this turn, Dion Lord has two turns. Yeah. And the Blitzers are not in a very nice position right now to be able to, you know, become dangerous next turn. And that flesh golem, even going down, is still doing an absolutely amazing job of stopping the advance on the right hand side. They are so good. He's going to hand off to the goblin. Is he going to hand off now? Yep. A one in nine that I would have been absolutely brutal. That that felt risky. <laughs> but And doesn't change the game state at all because the ghoul has the three plus dodge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what you gotta do here is you just gotta stop as many orcs advancing as Jimmy possible. Jimmy can blitz the black orc with block or the one with guard. Yeah. Or if he takes down, he paws this black orc. Is a uh, yeah, there, go. yeah, there we the go. Safe moves. There you go. And now two into two because he's strength two gobbo. Oh, two into one. Sorry, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, fuck me. oh, oh, oh. Uh, that was it. Maybe I will reroll the first one. We rolled the first one, definitely. Um, but that was really unlucky. Yes, because now the blitzers can uh, reposition themselves. Yeah, they can. Simply a sensei, then uphill surf the Black Hawk. <laughs> Tackle, doing a thing. Oh. 
Oh, dear, oh, that's a dear. big oh, chip, dear. guys. Giovanni. Can Jim reach him with the werewolf? I think he can reach, yes. Double GFI, as it stands, um, if this werewolf gets smacked, of course. You can do it with the... Uh... No. Yeah, no. Yeah, the white could have got there as well, but not uh, enough, that, that double score. Jimmy dropping the LGG. Pre uh, extra time. Going for the absolutely hero play with a, with a zombie. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. How good is that? Jimmy channeling Holy is in, is in a reckless. <laughs> someone, someone, please samba that at some point. Someone clip that. Holy shit! Jim, Jim's basically given a big fuck you to Rick Reckless. Yeah, you think you think you're spawny? Watch this shit. <laughs> wow. Never in doubt. Hire that zombie. This is me, Cyrusin. And now it all comes to two one in nine. Jim is listening. Um, I'd love to see the dice sequence for <laughs> that maneuver. That was not the right play, I think. You Ooh. can understand Dion being a bit tilted here, can't you? Uh, two plus. And he makes it. Oh. One one. Did we forgot that he was scoring or what? <laughs> that he scored. For the first time in the Is match. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> what a match. <laughs> Will we see one turn with 11 men? What a time to be alive. <laughs>
Ah, de cool, de cool gone. Yeah, that's that's the only downer to this drive, isn't it? Um, it would have been it would have looked so much better with the ghoul on the pitch, but two werewolves can get the job done. Just secure the ball on one of them, and the orcs are going to have a really hard time locking him down. Nice kick for Jim. Oh, there you go. Nice blitz that allows him to protect the ball. Yeah, no, nice little stun there. Um, in addition to the stun, the two prone Blackhawks, you know, they're going to take, obviously, a turn to stand back up. But, you know, positionally, they're in a bad spot. And of course, Jim will fail to pick up the ball because fucking Just to add ball. more emotion to the game, you know, <laughs> make it more. All he had to do was pick up the ball there, wasn't it? And, you know, it would have been in a really solid position, but no. <laughs> now the orcs are the right, have to retreat. No, he has not a very clear, you know, uh, option for a blitz here. Blitzing that zombie, like, I don't see the point there. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, um, I'm just looking at what else he could blitz. You don't really want to start time. I think um, the Omlords learn his lesson, RE time players up on flesh golems. Um, but that does seem like a bit of a pointless blitz there. Well, I'd, I'd be running that mighty blow back. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's a pretty good turn by the Orcs, isn't it? They're Not keeping bad. their shape. They're keeping their shape. Uh, exposed another Black Orc. Deserves to get whacked for it. Fucking hell, Jim. This is the right time to start rolling bullshit dice, isn't it? <laughs> oh, now he can free the zombie. Oh, oh that's nice. a lovely, lovely little KO. Um, Jim has to be mindful that he doesn't give up the center of the pitch here. Nice. If he he fails, I... Yeah, if he fails to pick up the ball here, no. He, so Jim's going to shore up the center of the pitch there he goes yeah okay uh, so putting those two um, zombies together is really smart um, if Jim had failed to pick up the ball then it meant that the orcs couldn't get through without a dodge Try to dodge the whites, yes. Yeah. 
Yep, All good right turn. Then. Good turn. Yes. And again for the wolf. Getting him. This will be the death of the wolf. Nothing. Happy days. Jim will be looking to keep that wolf armor <laughs> for the following games if he gets through. <clears throat> also, the orcs have a very good defensive position here. There are no easy spots. Well, besides the blister with guard exposed at the right. That black orc there doesn't achieve anything at all, and that's a very, very big stupid there that opens a big door if Jim wants to take it. The Om Lord is closing the door now. Yep. Going for the Blitzer. Oh, another KO. Yeah, these removals are really good right now, aren't they? Um, every removal will be making Jim feel better and better. Things are looking good in Jimmy Fantastic City. Now, if he removes the mighty blow tackle uh, blitzer. So I really like that. Lock and throw. <laughs> he, 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 yes, because he's going to hit with the, with the golem, the lineman. Yeah. Oh, yes. And now he gets two dice on the black orc. Low risk though with a GFI, but the greed, greed the result. Now he needs to, uh, Dion Lord needs to be very careful because the, the werewolf. Can you know reduce to blitz him with Mr. Fro? Gets it. Gets the bow. Oh, oh Jesus that Christ, is. Mr. Throw. Apo. <laughs> oh no, it had no, to Apo. be Mr. Apo, throw, it? didn't it? It had to be Mr. Yeah. Throw. <laughs> it had to be Mr. Throw. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> As the right, he has so many other chances uh, to do things now. All of his team is uh, Dion's team is tied. Move the mighty blow back. It's been a while since I've seen some double skulls, so double skulls are bound to happen at some point. Getting all the powers now, Dion Lord. Oh. 
he should have done that a way ago, long time ago. Just goes to show how vulnerable Necro are. Even the loss of one werewolf, one ghoul right here, has changed this entire drive for Jim. Jim, one turn ago, looked like he was in really good shape. Minus that werewolf now, not so good. Now having to play the one in nine game. Yeah, yeah. And there you go. Not playing it very well. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Desperate measures. Yeah, Jim's had enough. He's like, right. Oh no, depending on the magical protection of the zombies. <laughs> Well, Jim's already proved that his zombies are among the best Blood Bowl players that have ever existed in the history of Blood Bowl. They are survived uh, lethal hits uh, yeah. of the time. Ah, the lack of pause there. Oh. It must be tempted to hit Mr. Fro here. <laughs> yes, but I'll go for the guard. Yeah, you got to go for the guard or the mighty blow. <clears throat> I think the guard's the right hit. Yes, yeah. the guard is the right uh, thing. Tiding him. I mean, getting a power will have been uh, massive. But it seems uh, Jimmy is refusing to roll bows. Yeah. Down to one reroll, Jimmy. Two rerolls for the Lord. The worst kick equity start to appear. Starting with one die. Wait a minute, did he just open with a one D? Yes. Fuck off. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, there are not many other options of to die. Oh, there oh. you go, double skulls. Okay, um, so uh, is that a field? Um, brought up the odds for the kick equity. Now they are the same, one reroll to one reroll. Yep. So, so 50%. 50-50. In Jim's world, that's shit odds. <laughs> okay, that's a big bonehead there. Or really stupid. Wait, I don't know what the, what that chief hitting that the uh, player there because you don't free anything. I don't know about the random, uh, the blitz on the zombie. Okay, the removal's all right. Well, but... now at least he can move back the the black hole. Yeah. Oh, oh. You there's your opening, Jim. That's it. That's it. Jimmy has here the run for it. Oh, you can tell Jim sees it. He's playing fast. He always plays yes, fast. Yes, anyway. he, he's he already watched the play. Fast. Mr. Throw pays the price. Oh, do you, do you go yes. for the zombie blitz or the werewolf blitz? The oh, wolf. oh, God. Okay. That's it. Some uh, weird screen there. I wouldn't have hated the zombie blitz there, but I don't know if there's a lot between the two. I just say the wolf because he has block. Yeah, but he's also carrying the ball. If he'd rolled a double push there, Jim would have been in big trouble. But I'll be honest, I think I'd have preferred... The anyway, it's a moot point now, it's done. Yes. But I think I'd have, I think I'd have preferred the zombie hit. 
Um, happy to be corrected if I'm wrong. You know, I, as yeah, I say, I don't, I don't think there's a lot between the two. But either there was way. the chance. There was a bigger chance of removing the blitz. If he would have removed that blitz, that would have been epic. Yeah, Satfield, would you? So would you have preferred the wolf hit or the zombie hit there? Um, obviously, you got a dodger one in nine with a zombie hit. Oh, Kilmatronics has just said, yeah, that was my first choice too. As I say, it was it was rowdy, but a dub, two double pushbacks. You know, we're talking about gym dice here. Um, he would have been bang in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but at least now, you know, in the Blitz with the Wolf, at least you have the zombie to be able to create some screen. Yeah. If it's the zombie, the one that rolls the two parches, it's like... <laughs> so all the... All that um, the Omlord's got here is this Blackhawk Blitz and then base in front of the Werewolf. But the Werewolf is movement eight, so a dodge and a GFI. I haven't That's counted it, this yes. as. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Well, you've got to re-roll it. You so, have to re -roll, yes, yeah. you are too, too, too invested day. on it. You are too invested on it. You're going to... I mean, if he doesn't reroll, is he lose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jim's a Jim's a three plus with a reroll. So one, it, that's one in nine away, isn't it? Uh, Sapfield, I like the wolf here. That's much of the bigger than what it seems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, I don't think there was a massive amount between the two. He's got to run that blitz. He's got to GFI that blitz under there, isn't he? He has yes. to. Yeah. So, zombie blitz on the uh, mighty blow blitzer. Clearly, clearly follow the chunter path. Red dice uh, blitz with the wolf, the sharp, the tackle, mighty blow score. Jesus <laughs> Christ, yeah. <laughs> No, it's a zombie blitz on the mighty blow blitzer. Push the orc away, and it's still a, then a free plus for the werewolf to dodge out. He's gonna chain the free the the white. Yeah, I still prefer the zombie blitz. I'll tell you why I prefer the zombie blitz is because you're pushing that orc away from where you need to dodge. Zombie free. No. I, uh, oh, okay. Oh, this is smart. Oh, I love this. Look oh, at this. Oh, there you go. Sir, sir, Jim. Oh, dear. Jim really actually didn't want to roll the pal there. No, no, he wanted the. <laughs> oh, and he and gets that's it. it. Jim makes it. <laughs> Jim makes it. A big well play played. to close the door. There was a sir. I was 50% right. <laughs> Woohoo. Oh, my God. Yeah, well played, Jim. I actually didn't see the the surf stroke escape oh, there. Um, yeah. I was thinking you may have oh, through the mighty blow blitzer. But yeah, that was a nice oh, bit of play. Ironically, you didn't want the pal there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the surf would have made it easy, wouldn't it? But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, Jimmy. You wanted a tight game, you know? Yeah. With no dicing. Yeah. Well, except that absolute epic uh, zombie blitz there that they would go down <laughs> yeah. history. Yeah, I would have taken winning by that. <laughs> that was insane, wasn't it? <laughs> that was absolutely insane. But I mean, didn't do anything in the end. But it was really, it was really a fun move, wasn't it? Boy, howdy! Right. That was a great, great game. Really, really good game. Jim, did you? So your first half um, was really good defensively because you was on the back foot right from the beginning weren't you yes, um you, yeah. you lost a couple of players you were you were at least two players down for that whole drive um so you know all we can really say about the first half is yeah a bit of a defensive master class <laughs> um second half um now me and Feme both agreed that the ghoul felt really potatoey <laughs> <laughs> i mean you couldn't hit me right you couldn't hit me um, no 
But yeah, the problem was if I'd rolled a pow on the first hit or a both down on the first hit from the wolf, then I would have had the wolf free to reposition. But once the wolf wasn't free to reposition, I wasn't comfortable with like staying where I was or running backwards. That was the thing. Like, yeah. you know, I ended up with a zombie and the wolf on the black orc. If you remember, after, after the, the wolf blitzed in the made a removal. Uh, the turn that potato odd. The wolf blitzed back, made a removal. Like, yeah, because yeah, yeah, because I moved in the the white to to assist. And then if I'd made, if I'd just instantly powered him and wasn't based, then I would have uh, then I would have repositioned and like you know stayed where I was basically, or maybe run back or whatever. But because I ended up basing another black orc after I'd removed him, then I just thought I've just got to run away here and score and like you know maybe it was wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's done for the day. Yeah, some guy one one three. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, happy, happy days. Day. I, I was gonna stick. I was gonna stick around for some more commentary, but if we're done for the day, then result. <laughs> yes, woohoo! Two wins. The, the next game is tomorrow at the thirteen a UTC. Yes, thirteen hundred UTC tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I might I might be around for that, Jim. So uh, I might. Hundred percent. I'll be there. Hundred percent. That's two o'clock. That's me after lunch. So, perfect time for some Blood Bowl. Glorious, yeah. Um, Do you know who's going to play tomorrow, Jim? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, it's the winner of, let me tell you, because it's it's had to be done manually uh, when all the matches are done. But um, it's either Kill Bill or Azatot. Wow! It's, it's, I, I thought it would have been KFOG or Tri, but they both lost. KFOG and, Tri and Trific both lost in the first round, so it's it's Kill Bill or Azatot. Uh, I think Kill Bill has Griff Humans and Azatot has Skaven. So it's one of those two. Um, yeah, that was that was unbelievable. I mean, you know, obviously Diom Di Lord <laughs> nearly got it right there in the end. Diom Lord is really good, isn't he? He's really good at Blood Bowl, and it was hard, wasn't it? That was a hard, hard game. And uh... I think his problem here that he's not used to the one minute turns. Yeah. And there were a few moments when you could feel it, you know, when they make a play, and then a few seconds pass. The classic went, "Oh no, I did a mistake in that." For example, when he did that roll, yeah. and it was like. I stopped there and I was like, yes, that's the classic thinking. I should have done yeah. that. Yeah. I well, should the, have done uh, that. The, um, the penultimate turn, when he ran out of time and he left the right-hand side clear open for you, you could tell that you were all over that. You know, yes. um, you literally moved all your players within a few seconds because you saw the opportunity off the back of him running out of time. Um, he did really, he did really well to recover. So what the Lord did well over the two games that I've watched is he was making mistakes, but then he was doing really well recovering from those mistakes. Yeah. Yes. He didn't go down there, you know. The oh my god, I don't know. He keep it there. And the biggest example was in he left the cage open, and he realized that the cage was going to be open. You know, at the, uh, the moving players. Say, oh, I don't have enough players. You could see him waiting a few seconds. Just probably saying. Santa Madonna, what have I done? <laughs> because yes, that's when he realized that he gave you the chance to go with the wolf. Yeah, yeah, that was a really enjoyable game. Like this is the best kind of game, I think, is when it's really close it's, against a really I'm good coach. Absolutely exhausted, and, and I was only watching. <laughs> yeah. I was only watching. Said, so I said at half time, Jim. I said this is an honest game of blood bowl. Neither coach had significantly better dice, certainly no comedy mega dicing, other than Mr. Fro removing one of your werewolves, which is always hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, but it, that it, was amazing. It, it, it had like to be Mr. Fro. <laughs> where there's so like many mighty game, blow hits. You know? Like, how many times have they been hit by mighty blow? Like, obviously, yeah. it was really lucky to still have them both, and then bloody Mr. Fro gets him. <laughs> no, yeah, it felt like an honest game of Blood Bowl, and. You know, and I think I think the right player won. You know, obviously I'm always team fantastic anyway, but I think you played slightly better, certainly in the first half. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I made more cards than him in here. I did I make four cards? I didn't even realise. I'd like zoned out on. Oh no, I sustained more cards. Okay, yeah, I did sustain more cards. Yes, yes. So you had, your zombies were made of chocolate. The first half. Yeah, but they regen, didn't they? They all regen, which was all yes. Uh, you re do regens? Yes. If you check them, uh, they're really, really good. Yeah. So. Yeah. Th yeah. So three, three regens. Oh yeah. And obviously the ghoul couldn't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was that was a hell of a game, wasn't it? Great dodges. 100% in GFIs, GFIs, you know, just casually. Yeah. 80% so. dodge, elf level yeah. of dodge in there. 
And before I go, can we just talk about that zombie play? Can we, <laughs> can we just have a moment's silence for that zombie play? That was amazing. Oh, man. If only it had won the match, that would have been great, wouldn't it? But That, <laughs> was, that, that, that was the kind of uh, play that people used to show how fun is Blood Bowl. Look, this is the kind of thing that can happen. Yeah, yeah. I sure. believe someone did. I believe someone did clip it. Oh, yes, there is a clip around. There is a clip around. Yes, because I, I demand that I ask that I want to see that. I think that's like I don't know, zero point zero zero one percent of it happening or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely yeah, me, low because I wasn't me even. Me and Raymond went insane. We both went insane. <laughs> I, I was not going to re-roll until I got the two dice. Exactly. I don't think you know. Like I just thought I'll re-roll if I get the two dice. And then, and then I thought, well, after I made the judges, I'm like, oh god, am I, am I going to have to reroll GFI now for the hit? You know, because <laughs> like I really didn't want a GFI, but then obviously, because like it, there's the chance of him using a reroll on the score and him not scoring, isn't there? So I probably had to. Uh, I probably. Oh, there is, the, there is there is there is the clip. There is the clip. How good is that? <laughs> Hello, Ansi. Uh, yeah, do 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 one of the games that I feel before uh, before the end of the stream here yeah, for sure. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you to it anyway. So, Jim, as ever, a pleasure. Congratulations. Um, I look forward to jumping into the commentary tomorrow and uh, seeing you take this blitz pit home, mate. Um, I'm also leaving. I want to have a pint before the pub close. So, yeah, see you later. I'll see you tomorrow, Jim, for your uh, games tomorrow. Glorious. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely brilliant, I'm sure. You know, great of you to do it. Thank you so much. Cheers. And uh, thanks, Throik, for staying fantastic for seven glorious months. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>